So what's up guys? Today we'll be creating a multi-layer donut chart. So once you have your data in the in Excel, so what you want to do now is create a table. So you go to insert, click on table, you check this, then press OK. Now we have our table. So now I can go back to insert. Now go to private chart, private table right? So click on OK. Now we have our private view there. So you just select whatever you want to display. So I want to see my sales and my outlet. So for my outlet, these are my sales. But yeah, I want to create. But what I actually want here is percentage. So I would left click. On this, then I'll go to show value as column total. So, these are two you are going to have, and then go to home. So, I'll change, change this. Yeah, because should just highlight everything together. So now next thing I want to do is I will extract my data out from the table. So I'll just press equal to click on it, then drag it down. So I'll just I just reference that. So now I need the information that is related to this. Press equal to I'll reference that to one two. So now I would use this. Then I'll just click on this cell. That means that if there's any changes in this cell, this two will change automatically. Push it down, change it to percentage. Now that, and you know for a fact that we are creating a multi layer do not chart. So we are going to have this one, two, three, four. So that means you are going to have four layers. So, and we still have just have one. So, you are going to create three of this more. So, let's do that. How do I is out? Click, add highlight this. The rows and column, the first one is second only. Then I'll go to the start. Then I'll click on the pie chart to accelerate the donut to one. Now we have it here. So I'll just stretch this out. To the rest now we have how many layers one two three four layers now that we have this ready so you can just make it bigger so let me just insert this let me quit A black background. Let me create a black background. I can change the shape fee to black. Although this one is not necessary, this whole thing I'm doing is not necessary. So now let's start formatting. Let's start formatting our donut chart. And now click format. 
format chart let's click on it the format chart area click on fee no fee border no line so what i want to do next is i want to cut the white in the middle of the chart i'll click on it once go to border no line click on this two one no line click on this two no line and click on click on the last one two no line so you have how many layers so you have one two three four so from the smallest to start removing the, the layers from the smallest since we have four so the first layer you, you are going to remove every other layer that you have to you have one left so this one you are going to double click it so so that you are just going to select that portion alone uh, so you go to fill click on no fill this one to double click double, double click it no fill this one too no fill so which one is the next one this one is the next one here yeah. all the way are here yeah. no fill no fill so one two this one is a, this one is just one no fee. Can you see that now? I think we are getting closer. I, I think we are getting closer to up. Uh, do not chat. Chat type two. I don't know this. I can just click press on this that one. I can make it bigger. So, what I want to do next is just to show some information relating to this. If I let like him hit, add data label. Okay. Let me see. Let me grab it out. Okay. I'll then go to format. Let me format this one. Format data layer. Let me go to text option. Text option. Solid. Let me change that to white. And let me do it. Okay. Let me go to this label option. Let me go to the border solid line, then we give it white. Now see what we have here. So I'm going to do that to the rest too. Now, so now this all we have for this. But you see that now you can see this is actually linking this one 
is actually looking directly at that. Why God has anointed? So what you can do in that sense is I can just delete this one. Let me delete. Let me press on it. Delete. So this one I can then add back the data label. Add data label. Okay. Format, I'll format it, format data label, text, text option, put it white, label option, the uh, border, solid line, it says white, so I'll do it the rest, to the other two. Now, after the whole formatting, actually, I'm done, but you can just add, you know, just try new things with it. You can change the colors, you know. If it's left now, just change the colors of the whole thing. You know, for example, this. But it will be okay for you to, you know, find a color pattern of, like, the kind of color you want to use. You know. That's the best thing. Then you have to Format, format, go to the see, I can just look solid, I can change that to white. Oof. I can then change it to this one, I can change this to, let me change something light, and this one, something light. And this one, so from something like you want to start to using it, like from something like you want to do something deeper. Okay. And from slides, and that's, that's actually, like you can just, you can do it anyhow, though, but I just feel like that's the best thing. Mm, go from get something light from to dark. You can just this this one. Okay, that's true. Okay, yes, it is okay. But then it's just preference or um color theme of the kind of charter actually to be used. Yeah, I think it's nice. I guess it's nice. So you can just do now, for example, I can just want the maximum to start displaying the middle of the thing. So what I want to do is just, as I said earlier, is just reference. So you just write a bit of this statement. Okay. So let me do like this. Let me just put so I can see what I'm doing. And I can just try to, in, in, to select the highest. So can you can use that, you just try to. Okay. To, you go to if this equal to if this one uh -huh, is equal to the maximum of this scale considering 
Go to the real first, right? Yes. If that cell is greater than the max of this cell, the max, the maximum of this cell, then print if this cell. If this cell is equal to the maximum of this, then print this cell. Else, don't print anything. Enter. I cannot drag this one down here now. So that is the maximum. So let me just go to let me format that. Let me format this. Perhaps it's nine percent for that. So if I want that to show here, I'll just go to insert text box and I have my text box here. So let me get some view. Let me show formula by it. So yeah, I can just write equal to this guy here and present Okay, you okay. Equal to okay. I press it in the formula bar. Equal to this one. Yes. So we have it here now. So let me just shift this back. I want this one too. Let me change the color. I'll change the color to white. Oh, sorry. Let me put something for white. Format. I'm going to format cheap. This is the shape here. No fee. And this. No borders. So I can increase. And then increase the size of, of the font. Okay. I can change the font. I 